Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the second part of this Control K versus Control Q. In which way, if you didn't watch the first one, you really need to watch the first one. But I was just thinking as that video is loading, let's say you've got this outline and you like it, but it's it's a little bit too thin, like right there. Well, there's a couple ways you could correct that. It's already a curve. So you could select these nodes, and then you could also take these nodes away. You know, you don't need all the nodes. And you could make them larger by selecting them both. And evidently, I didn't select them both. Select them both and just bring it down. And then select them both and bring it up. Now, we are changing the curvature of the T, but you could very easily fix that. So see the difference? That's one way. But this would be very a little more difficult on this part. So let's back up 100% to where we were. And the other way to correct that would be to let's zoom in here. And I do this all the time. And go to effects. After you've done it and you've got it well and you've got it like you like, go up to effects and contour. Contour it to the outside because you were making it thicker. Contour it one time at point one, and then hit apply. And that's what you're going to get. Now, very easily go up to object, break contour apart, which is also our control K. It works on text or anything else. We're going to grab our inside contour and just move it out of the way. Now we have that font that is a thicker font. It's almost, you can see quite a bit the difference of the, where the Q's are, where the, the gap between the Q is uh, there. So, but look at, this is what we really wanted to correct was these two areas, this and this. So look at how we made that that much thicker. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.